Hey guys, it's Jess, and while I am well aware that it's been quite some time since I've uploaded to this channel, I know that nobody cares about that part, so let's get into the why I have not uploaded. So, uh, first of all, my laptop was broken. I had to take it in to get it fixed. Um, it was supposed to be fixed a week ago, and also two weeks ago, and uh, it, it just did not work out. So, I had to take it to the store, uh, get it fixed. And I just got it back today. Um, so there's that. Um, and then in case you guys can't tell by the title, um, the breakup had a lot to do with that. So I'm going to just dive right in to that because I know I'm going to get a million different questions and things like that. I do have a running list of video suggestions on my phone. So if you guys have any video suggestions, leave them down below, send them to me on Twitter, email them to me, whatever. Um, and I will get to those as soon as possible. But right now I just want to address the non-existent elephant in the room that I know I'm going to get a lot of questions on. It's not really an elephant in the room because Y'all don't know the situation. So basically what had happened was, and you know the story is going to be good if it starts with that, but. Okay. <clears throat> what had happened was. Uh, last year I started talking to Brandon. We talked off and on and then we started dating in January. The, the details, the, the fine details don't matter. Um, but we started dating in January and I was having a lot of issues. I was working at the call center he saw that I was miserable. I was living just in that misery and, and I hated it. And I wanted to get back to being a, an esthetician. I wanted to focus on getting my license. I wanted to work on me. Like I, I wanted to get my career going. And uh, I I was talking to him about it one night. We we had gone up with some friends to Universal and um, we, we went back to his house and uh, we were talking about things and he's like, you know, what if, what if you could just quit your job and not have to worry about finances? You know, do you think you'd be able to get your license then? I was like, yeah, if I could just sit down and focus on what I need to focus on, then yeah, it wouldn't be an issue. But between working at the call center and all the stuff that was going on with my roommate and, and things like that, it wasn't working and I'd been trying to get the information but I kept getting the runaround from state boards and it, it it was a mess like let's be honest it was a mess um so I I spent you know maybe a couple hours thinking about it and I was like you know what that sounds like a good idea you know we we kind of figured out a plan for like transportation and and getting my license and things like that um Everything was kind of situated, basically. And the plan was that I was going to quit my job at the call center and I was going to move in with Brandon and um, I was going to focus on getting my license. And uh, it was like within a few days uh, I had quit my job and moved. And um, I did it thinking that this is the best option for me. I won't have to worry about the drama with my roommate. I won't have to worry about the drama with the call center. I, I will be free to do the things that I want to do and and really work on myself. I still wasn't really um, wasn't really thinking about myself in, in the sense of everything like being all about me. Um, but I I was prepared to at least try. Um, so. I came over here, Brandon's house, uh, I came over here and I, I tried to get settled, but nothing ever really felt like home. And I, I told him that I was like, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's my home. It feels like a temporary place to stay. And I don't know if it was because of his roommates, um, and, and not really meshing very well with them. I don't know if it was like his life and, and the things that he, he does with, you know, his job, and then he is a Twitch streamer and, and things like that. I, I could not put my finger on what it was. And there were several different red flags that were like small red flags that I tried to just be like, okay, well, you know, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Like I'll just, I'll let it slide, whatever. And I tried to roll with things and be okay with things that I really, at the end of the day, I, w I really wasn't okay with. And 
that 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 one's on me like that that part my fault um but i i really did try to roll with it and and kind of go along with um his idea of you know you don't worry about the things that you can't change and so i i wasn't really worried about the things that I couldn't change, but he had really talked up like we were going to have a future together and this was our home and that's our bed and that's our laundry hamper that's actually full of just my clothes because he moved. Um, that's our bowl, our bowl of grapes. Where, why can't I put my, right there, that's, that's a bowl of grapes. Um, you know, di different things like that. He's like, this is our home and it's going to be our home and you know, every morning I wake up and I choose you and, and things like that. Like he, he really talked it up and it sounded so good and I wanted so bad for it to be a thing. And I, in my head, I started thinking about it. And I'm like, wow, that sounds so good. Like, you know, it's our home and it's our future and, and all these things. And we had talked about like getting married and having kids and things we really we weren't together long enough to have those conversations and I felt, I felt weird about it. And I mean, it, it was a lot of like, we've been together for like two weeks. You can't honestly say that like you want us for us to get married, but like that, that was the thing. Everything just moved at lightning speed. And I even asked him before I moved in, I'm like, why, like, don't you think it's going to be an issue if, if we move in together so quickly? And he's like, no, you've got your thing going on. I've got my thing going on. I'm like, all right, cool. So I started the process of trying to get my esthetician's license transferred over from Colorado to Florida by endorsement. The problem, <laughs> the problem <laughs> is that Florida wants a certificate. I'm so tired of telling this story. Florida wants a certification of licensure. It doesn't exist in Colorado. And a few years ago, Colorado sent out letters stating that the states needed to stop demanding this piece of information because it just doesn't exist and Florida didn't care and um Brandon was getting frustrated with with the whole thing um because it, it wasn't moving fast enough for him and and I honestly I agree it, it it's it is a problem it was a problem and that's a whole separate thing and then he started having um I don't really want to say issues with his job because I don't want to make it sound like there was an actual problem there. What, what, I mean, kind of, I'm not trying to like put his business out there basically. Um, but basically what had happened was he was in a position where he had the opportunity to take a better job. Um, we had talked about things and the possibility of if the job was out of state, Am I okay with moving? Is he okay with moving? What would be the plan? I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Like, I have nothing going on. Like, okay. Like, I still can't get my license here. I'm still working on it. So, like, if it comes down to it, let's just move. It's not a big deal. And, you know, I was so, like, gung-ho and, and ready to to do anything and everything I could to, to make things work with him. And uh, he told me early on, like, any problems that we have, we would get through them together and, and things like that. So I was like, this is going to be easy, like not a problem. Well, he got the opportunity to work uh, in California and make a stupid amount of money. And so he took the job and he dumped me. And I asked him, you know, kind of why and... He, he kind of gave me answers to it, but not really. And like the day after he left, of course, you know, state boards calls and like, hey, we're going to go ahead and, you know, push your license through. And I'm just like, y you, you couldn't have done that like a couple weeks ago when it was like important. <laughs> like you have to wait until now. And that does me no good. So thanks, Florida State Boards, for not doing your job the way you're supposed to do your job. Um, yeah, it 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 was hard, and I I don't want anyone to seek him out and and try to make him feel bad or send him like any type of negative anything. D don't 
don't do that. Somebody asked me on a previous video what his Twitch was. I'm not going to put it back out there again. If you want to find it, I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to take that comment down. But do not, do not go after him because he is just doing what's best for him. And I should have seen from the beginning that our relationship was not what was best for me. I went along with it because I thought at the time that all the things that he was saying sounded really good and I, I wanted those things to be true. But at the end of the day, it's not what was best for me and it's not what's best for him. And I would consider us right now to be civil towards each other. We're not on the best terms. Um, and I am living in his house until I get arrangements made to um, to go elsewhere. Now, where that is, I don't know. It's either going to be somewhere in Arkansas or it's going to be Illinois. I'm not really sure which one right now. I don't know which one's going to be best. I'm kind of weighing my options and seeing what job opportunities there are. I don't want to move without a job. Like, that is my number one thing. And as of right now, YouTube doesn't pay my bills. So I have to figure that out and go from there and, and try to establish my life somewhere else. And I'm trying to think realistically, like, where can I get a job? Can I afford rent? Th things like that. Like, what's my transportation look like? What does, you know, a, an average day to day look like? Are there grocery stores around? Can I walk to everything? Different things like that. So that's where I'm at right now and, and trying to figure that out. Um, going through the process of the breakup uh, for the first few days was hard. We broke up less than a week ago and I haven't really cried today. I, I've cried a lot this week, but today I, I want to, but I think my eyeballs could no longer produce tears even if I wanted them to. So, like, I think I'm good there. Um, but, yeah, it it was hard and it was confusing because I felt like he had died, even though he was just moving across the country. Like, it, it was important for me to treat this breakup as if there had been an actual loss because it was easier for me to process. I know that probably doesn't make sense for everyone, but for me personally... It made the most sense for me to sit down and process things as if there had been an actual loss and, and to kind of, you know, respect the relationship as if there had, you know, been a loss and and just kind of treat it as such. There's the loss of the, the relationship, the companionship, his company, our future, you know, different things like that. And, and to really take time and, and grieve those things. And I like I said, I... I it probably didn't make no sense, but um, for me, it, it really did. And it helped because I I don't anticipate talking to him every day. I've tried, but he's made it pretty clear that he doesn't want that line of communication there. So I'm not going to force it. If he wants to come back to my life, that's fine. But I'm not going to sit around and wait for him to figure it out. Communication wasn't that great. Um you know, and, and that's kind of an issue. Uh, it's really the only issue was communication and the fact that I, I never felt like I was a priority. I felt like I was, I was here to fill his time when it was convenient. That might not be the case, like from his perspective, what he was doing, but that's what it felt like to me. And I, I told him these things and it, it never seemed to make a difference. Like there's a lot going on with my dad right now and he's really sick. And when I would try to talk to Brandon about those things, he didn't seem interested. It, it was a lot of me saying these things and not getting any kind of response. So feeling like I was just talking to a brick wall and for things like that, not everybody knows how to like handle things like that or, or be empathetic, you know, towards tough parts of life. But you know, for stuff like that, I want to be able to talk to my partner and I want to be able to like bounce ideas off of them and, and discuss things and, and really, you know, find comfort in my partner. I, I don't want to sit there and be like, so yeah, my dad's back in the hospital. Crickets. Okay, great. 
try to be more positive because he said I was never positive enough and be like, hey, my dad's back in the hospital. They're going to try a new chemo. Awesome. You <laughs> like it's it's hard to be positive about something like that. Um, but it's it's been a learning experience and I, I have definitely figured out some things in my life that need to be adjusted. Um, and I need to acknowledge the things that I find valuable in a relationship. I need to acknowledge that I need someone to be comforting. I need someone to be more supportive. I need someone to stick with me through tough times, you know, di different things like that. So it's it's been important for me to be able to just sit down and really, really think about myself and what I would want in a partner. And at the end of the day, the way that Brandon lives his life may work for him, but it doesn't, it doesn't really work for me and it doesn't work for the things that I want for my future. And so when he said that his future plans, like he sat and he really thought about them, that his future plans didn't include me, I didn't understand. And I, I thought he was being selfish. And now that I'm looking at things, I'm like, yeah, as much as I want my future plans to include him, I don't really think they do. Because I, I can't imagine, you know, 10, 20 years from now being married to someone that can't, you know, be be as supportive as I need them to be. They, they, he's just simply not what I need. And that's okay. He's, he's a great person. He's really nice. He's super funny. You know, he can cook. <laughs> you know, he's, he's going to make somebody really happy someday. But I just don't think that person is me. And I don't think that he thinks he's that person for me, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on. Like I said, do not do not go like go find him and like try to be mean to him or, or send him nasty messages or anything like that. Um, you know, I wish him the best of luck. I, I hope that he finds whatever he's looking for in his new job, in this new phase of life, be it you know, a, a new girlfriend, or he becomes a permanent resident where he's at now, or whatever the case may be, I hope that he finds what he's looking for and is happy with his choices. And, you know, as hard as they might be, that he's able to get through them the same way that I did. I couldn't tell you what he's thinking, feeling, doing, because he won't tell me. <laughs> um, but I, I do hope that that things work out for him. And I know that's kind of an anticlimactic thing to say and be like, you know, oh, boo-hoo, my boyfriend broke up with me and I'm sad about things. But, like, I, I've spent so much time being selfish and, and wanting to to talk about these things that I've, I've talked myself away from the situation, if that makes any sense. Like, I, I really I don't have anything else to say at this point about the whole thing. I need to figure out where I'm going next, what my next job is going to be how I can keep making YouTube videos, what does the future look like, and, and different things like that. And at the end of the day, Brandon's just, he's hes not a part of all that. He's doing his own thing, and I need to be doing mine. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments down below, or you can find me on Twitter. Uh, I've been getting really weird snaps, so I think I'm going to, like, remove that part for a while. Um, but you guys can find me on Twitter. Um, and I'll also leave my email address down below if you guys have more than like 140 characters worth of things to say. I need to stop talking so fast. But I'm trying to like get through everything as quick as possible. Anywho, I'm going to get off here. Uh, contact me if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>